All right. Today I'm going to teach, uh, show you how to um, add a uh, a uh, check valve to your system. And how to uh, pressurize the tank to its proper um, tanks right here. Pressurize the tank to its proper um, psi. So uh, first things first is uh, we have to turn off the main feed to the system, which is right here. So we turn that off. Right here's the main feed. So that's the main feed right there. It's the angle stop right here. It's right there. So after that is uh, turned off, we can go to here. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is uh, turn on the uh, water and let it run until it's uh, there's no more water left. And for this uh, project, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna I supplied you with the uh, check valve. See, it goes one way only. You're gonna need a, um, a pressure gauge tire pressure gauge and you're going to need a um, a bicycle pump and something to cut the tube with I have my tubing cutters here so when we need to attach this guy So yeah, we're just waiting for it to um, empty its tank and to depressurize.
This is cool. <laughs> I'm making a video right now. Don't move the soap out of it? No, don't do anything. Try to record. I like your, uh, like your stand though. Yeah, I can't afford one. I made one. That works? Yeah. The official Old Flora stand. Go show Ken. Okay, so uh, if we see that uh, it's now dripping, so that means it's uh, all the water's gone out of the uh, system. So now what we want to do is um, if we look at our system here. Let me uh, fix our. Our thing here. So if we look at our system here, we have a, uh, a T right here. And if you follow the T here, you'll see it uh, connects to the tank, um, this uh, three uh, filter uh, frame on the back here and to this all row here. So what we wanna find is the, uh, the connection to the all row. So from the uh, alkaline filter, should shoot out. It's this green one right here this green guy right here so um see the t's right here and that is connected from here where the uh alkaline is so what you want to do is uh grab your uh your green line and um we're gonna make a cut right here so what we do is uh i have my tubing cutters here so out of the uh, alkaline before this T right here, we're gonna make our cut. So here's our cut. Some water's gonna come out. And what we wanna do is uh, connect the, uh, this uh, fitting I sent you. Here's this fitting I sent you. All right, so. Um, Look at our fitting here, it's pointing towards the, the T right here. See the arrow? And it's pointing to this guy right here. So from there, so out of the alkaline filter, through this guy, the arrow follows the T, goes to the T. So arrow to T. Do not put this opposite or else uh, water won't come out of the uh, system and it won't feed the system out of, uh, feed the tank or anything so it won't work so remember uh arrow 
towards the T. There's the T right here. Here's the arrow. It's pointing at the T. So out of the alkaline, through this uh, check valve, and into this T, where it goes into the tank and into this uh, three filter setup right here. So after that is done, we can set our focus onto the uh, the tank here. So the tank, let's uh, let's turn off the tank here, like so. And then uh, we're gonna disconnect the tank. So I'm just rotating it clockwise, and it's coming and done. So we have our tank here. I'm gonna put it to the side here. to uh, show you what to do here. So um, what I want you to do is remove this guy right here. Grab your um, your tester here, your air gauge. Now I want you to put it against this guy right here and measure. So mine says 6.2, so that's kind of low. So um, what I would need you to do is uh, get an air pump, it's a bicycle air pump, and then we're going to put it on here. Now that that's attached, we're going to pump it to, I usually pump it past 10. We want is 10. I think we have it at 10 PS. I'm gonna remove this guy here. I'm gonna check out my uh, my, th my uh, pressure gauge again. So right now I'm at 11, 11.5. I need to get down to 10, so I'm gonna release some air. I'm gonna check it again. Now we're at 11. I'm gonna dump some more air. Check it again. We're at 10.3. Release some more. Not as much. So um, now we're at 10. This is what we want the 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 system at. clean off this uh, water here so then after you got that pressurized properly I'm just gonna put the cap back on and after we put the cap back on we can put this back on the, the system Reconnect the tank here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, grab our tank fitting, put it back on here. So 
what I'm going to do actually let's see, let's this. so here's our tank fitting I'm just gonna remove this guy put that here now I'm just gonna tighten it about a hand Tighten up the hand, and then I'm gonna stick this tube in here again. A little bit of the water here, and then I'm gonna turn the tube back on for the. Uh, so this uh, this valve right here, that goes with the uh, with the uh, tube, the in line with the tube means it's on. So this would be off. This is on. So after that is done we have completed what we needed to do so what we need to do now is uh let's just go over what we did so we added this uh check valve and it's uh make sure it's pointing towards the t here so and then we uh disconnected our tank here and uh we raised it to 10 psi and then we reconnected it and turned on the valve again. So after all that is said and done, we have um, our ball valve right here that we turned off originally. So we're gonna turn this back on. And it should start feeding the system again. I turned off the, uh, the faucet here so I can start building pressure again. And uh, so yeah, you should start building pressure again. And now that this uh, one way valve is here, it should increase the pressure. And then we also increase the uh, PSI on this tank right here. So that should also increase the pressure. So um, your system should uh, have a boost in, um, in pressure. So sometimes the, uh, you look right here we got a uh, carbon filter here what happened is uh, the carbon filter gets overpacked from factory so it gets very hard uh, the water to push through there so um, that's why we added these two things so that the uh, it can increase pressure so it has a better chance of it has more uh, push through there gives it more uh, a less weak stream so that's it um obviously if you need anything else you can contact me here at Ophora um I think that's it other than that you just have to wait for it to regen and you'd be good to go so I'm going to get off now and uh thank you <laughs>